Hello, everyone, and welcome back to this guy presenting Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. As you can see, I'm picking up directly where we left off. Before we go heading over to that mansion, I do want to check out one thing. There is a little bit of a side mission, you could say, stationed over here. Yes, yes, Great Beast Halls. Um, over at the Bell Ones. Let's go say hi to anyone. Hello. Check out all the wonderful things. I'm actually curious as to who all these people really are. If they're really people or just digitally rendered. Personally, I love Eclair, so it's always been my favorite. My name's Arthur Gilpatrick. How can I help you? Uh, let's see. You run this place, I assume. Third generation bonds. Got a few employees, but I handle most every aspect of the business. I don't really I see any employees. Bondsman to keep the place open 24 hours. Plus a bounty hunter. I pull the graveyard shift because that's when all the crazy shit happens in Santa Monica. <laughs> yeah, I bet crazy shit happens in Santa Monica. Bounty hunter, you right? Betcha. I used to do some bounty hunting myself back in the day. Takes a solid set of brass balls to make a good bounty hunter, I'll tell you that much. Brass, man. Mine are fucking iron. Let's do it. Yep, damn good. His name's Carson, and he's great at what he does when he wants to do it. I can't seem to find him now, though. He's pissing me off, to be honest. I need him to go find someone. Well, I don't feel right cutting Carson loose just yet. We go way back. I knew his father, too. Tell you what, since I'm stuck here, why don't you go look for him? Just real quick. I'll pay you for your time. Of course. Okay, great. I suppose the first place you should look is his apartment in Santa Monica Suites. Apartment 1, I think it is. Maybe you'll find something that'll let you know where he's got himself to. Here's a key card. That'll let you in. I'll find him. Well, as you see, we got a bit of a side quest. I think I'm actually going to pick that up before uh, following the main quest lines. I always like flushing out the story as much as possible. They can be kind of interesting with all the different side stories. And it's kind of true with most games. My god, I want to kill him. I have never really liked Doomsayers, Soothsayers. There's actually a guy around one of the areas that I live where I'll walk by and I will hear him yelling about how this is the area of sin and a whole bunch of other things. It's really crazy to just kind of listen to these people. What? Hell, who knows? Maybe they got something right. I don't need to eat. Going up the stairs, then going down the stairs, then going up the stairs, then going down the stairs, then going sideways up the stairs. Sorry. Uh, uh, computer's not working. It doesn't work. Nothing there. Is this even the right room? I don't think this is even the right room. Is this the used for? I don't think this is what he was talking about. I think I'm in the wrong place. But since I'm here. Love both myself. What is it here? Phone. Nothing in the cabinets. And nothing in the shower. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's actually in the same place as Mercero or whatever the fuck his name was. Like how this, all this rain and this blood just stays there. Always a fun time. This one? Yes it is. Carson's. Open this up. I don't even think, yeah, I can't even flip off here. I've never seen anything like it in the second part of the 
They speculate that it could be from a yet undiscovered family of sea creatures. Our top story tonight, a derelict ship found floating 10 miles off Los Angeles coast early this morning, was towed into the port of Los Angeles a few hours ago. The ship was spotted That's by, a by fishermen who contacted the Coast Guard <laughs> after their attempts to hail the ship were too bad. He is Coast Guard officials are information right now, but have identified he. the vessel as the Elizabeth Don't forget Bain. to see on the top of the tattoo part of of the crew, though the Coast Guard are asking any ships that have contact with the Elizabeth Bain to assist them in their search. We'll have more on the story as it goes. In another news, an apparent third victim of the South Line Slasher has prompted the closing of the Santa Monica. I understand that also, Carson. Still not quite sure how to end videos or recordings. Okay, so we need to go check out the tattoo parlor, which is by the asylum, I believe. Wait, what car alarm is... No? There's no cars around here. How is there a car alarm? Oh no, uh, the tattoo parlor is by the Bales Bond. Foxy boxes. Every time I see that, I end up thinking of uh, Yu Gi Oh! Bridge. Okay. Not there. Now I'm trying to remember where the tattoo parlor actually was. There is the smoke shop. I don't need a pipe. Boxy boxes is there. That leads to the beach houses. What's up here? What the hell is that? Okay, I'm not seeing things, right? Oh, here's the tattoo parlor. He's just an old friend. Could you answer a few questions? Why don't you come down to my office and we'll talk about it? Where are you located? At the end of Main Street, small basement studio. The sign says Gimbal's Prosthetics. Just ring the buzzer and I'll let you in. Sounds good. I'll be there in a little bit. So we get to go say hi to Gimbal. He sounds like a cheery fellow. I'm not really sure what he's doing, what he's doing in this neighborhood, but hey, eh, whatever. Take it slow. Kind of what a transit cop. Brainwave part two. I don't know what brainwave does. I'm gonna have to try that. Yeah, I spoke with you on the phone. Yes, Gimbal. Thank you. Oh, oh hello there. Hello. Welcome to Gimbal's Prosthetics and Medical Supplies. You are here about the missing Mr. McGee, am I right? Yes, I am. Oh, Who are you? Give me my name is Gimbal. Stanley Gimbal. But, uh, Dear, let us dispense with formalities. You can call me Stan. Nice to meet you, Stan. But me? Tell me about oh, you. I'm just trying to make things a little easier for those who find themselves mm, disadvantaged. 
giving a helping hand, you might say. A leg up. <laughs> oh, right, right, clever, clever. Bloody clever, that one. Mm. Aha! An eager participant! Very yes, yes. good. Just give me a few moments to get my equipment. Seems that's on the paper we talked about. Yes, go. Nice plant. Okay. Mannequin arms and other parts, 2650. Whole mannequin on sale for 125. Cross site cleans, very for a customer. Crash test dummies. Wait, what? Do some pretty damn creepy. Okay. It doesn't really seem like the types I would have those posters, really. Nice, uh, oh, interesting. Yeah. Kind of, yeah, because this isn't suspicious at all. Yeah. So obviously he's completely psycho. You know, the whole torture chamber dungeon thing kind of gives it away. Dad. Under there. Under a shoulder blade? Let me see. Huh. I've never actually closely looked at the uh, pictures that they had here. Interesting. Huh? Oh, hey! Help! You gotta get me out of here, man! This guy's a freaking nut job! Who? Who, Gimbal? Stan? Gimbal? That guy's been taking pieces off of me and McGee over here for the last three days! He's crazy, man! Freaking crazy! Okay, where's the key to this door? Oops, that didn't work. Oh! Ah. Oops, I almost forgot to equip my new Bye. I think they gave him the wrong audio. Treat a little bit. Take a blood pack. So let's try to give him a bit of a fear effect. There we go. I wanted to try out a bit of the different abilities, see what they did, how they work. Thanks, man. You're a lifesaver. I wasn't sure I was going to make it. I'm telling you, I've been on some weird cases, but this one takes the cake. You're yeah. Carson, right? Yeah, that's me. How did you know? Arthur Kilpatrick sent oh, me. Oh, man, that's solid. I owe that guy big. I hope I can figure out a way to get him back for this. He's got some work for you. Oh, no, man. No, no, no. Not for me anymore. Look at my hand! Gimbal took my trigger finger for a trophy. I'm all through with this business. I hate to leave Arthur in a lurch, but that's just the way it is. Let's see. Okay, I'll give him the bad news. Let's see how uh, Kilpatrick is. Kilpatrick looks pretty dead. Oh. Severed arm! Come on, shut the door. There we go. Yes. Okay. Arms cracked. Okay. Over here. Nothing in the door. Okay. Well, we managed to rescue a bounty hunter. We now have a severed arm for a weapon. Holy crap, I think it's... Yeah, it's about as lethal as the, uh... As the knife. That's kind of weird. So, with that though, I think we'll be uh, calling it for this episode, and in the next one, we will attempt to take out that haunted ghost. Haunted house, sorry. And get rid of ghosts. 
I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.